I'm Venus with Galaxy Inc. And for this week's writing tips, we're going to be talking about writer's block. Now I do have to apologize for not being around for the past two weeks. I have been ill. I'm still a little ill, kind of sniffly and stuff like that. And as you can see, I also have new bookshelves. Actually, I have more bookshelves. I had the same ones before, but we've added more. So now I can kind of uh, record in the corner, which I like better. It has better lighting and all that stuff. So, you know, I feel like I'm upping my my video game. But let us get to writing and writing uh, writer's block. I don't actually think writer's block is, I don't want to say isn't a thing. I think it is a thing. But the thing with writer's block is that I think it's a matter of, you know, really understanding what you're writing. Um, so there's different types of writer's block to, for me. One of them is having trouble starting. One of them is once I'm starting, I don't know what's where to go. Uh, and then another one is feeling that that pressure or, or not being able to write and feeling like I have to write this thing, but I don't really want to write it right now. So one of the things that, you know, we want to start with the first one, which is just not knowing how to start. Uh, and I think some of that is just an inability or an, a not understanding what you want to write. For me, getting unstuck is a matter of talking it out and really defining what we want. And I apologize, we've got a new dog and I would show you this dog, but it's not the kind that you can just like pick up and show. And he keeps whining because my husband's up in his office and he's a little sad about that. <laughs> so if you keep hearing whining, the dog's fine. He just wants to go up with my husband in his office and he's really sad. <laughs> it's kind of sad, we've only had this dog four days. Anyway, so that explains why there's a dog whining in the background. The thing about getting unstuck is for me is I'm a, I'm a verbal processor processor. So sometimes I'll sit down with somebody and I'll just kind of talk and hash it out. I uh, try to figure out exactly what it is that I'm trying to do and where is the best place to start. I talked about this in one of my previous videos, like, where do you start? And, and it's kind of the same thing. Sometimes people get bogged down in the beginning and they sit there and they stare at this blank blank page and it just feels so foreboding. And, and so hard to start something and they don't know where to begin. And, and I, I, in that video, I advise to just start. And if you start in the wrong place, that's fine. But for me, if I'm having trouble getting going, it's really because I haven't really hashed out what I want to do uh, and exactly what my characters are doing or things like that. There's a couple of ways for me to kind of get around that. One of them is writing prompts. Uh, sometimes there's these different writing prompts that'll ask you like, what is your character dying for? Or what is something that your character desperately wants? Or, you know, what, you know, th there's all these different kind of writing prompts. And I will sometimes take a character that I'm still working on and still developing and pull that character to the side and write a little piece about them to kind of get me into it. It also might be a matter of creating an outline and really thinking about the story. I don't always do that. Sometimes my stories are very organic and sometimes they're not. And so sometimes they need a little bit of direction and they need a little bit of structure before I can begin. And that helps me kind of get an idea of where I'm starting so then I can kind of delve deeper into what I want. So if I'm stuck while I'm writing the book, so I've worked my way in, I'm doing pretty well, and then suddenly I don't know where to go. I don't know what these characters want. I don't know where the plot's supposed to be, or I do know where I want it to go, but I don't know how to get there. You know, I have laid out the ending in my head, but I just have no idea how to get to that point. Uh, I call that the muddle in the middle. Uh, and again, it takes some brainstorming and stuff like that. But also what I found sometimes is that I have to walk away. I have to walk away from that piece for a little bit and do something else. So I know there's several different ways that writers do this. Uh, one of them is that every day when you sit down to write, instead of writing the thing that you're working on, you work on something else, uh, a poem, or you do flash fiction, you do a writing prompt. There's tons of great books. Um, an example uh, for me that I keep is Take Joy by Jane Yolen, and also Steering the Craft by Ursula Le Guin. These two books have some writing tips and and writer's prompts and things like that, that you can kind of play around with. And I have found them really great for also developing craft. 
uh, which I think is part of the reason sometimes I get bogged down is I don't know how to do the thing that I want to do. I, I need a little bit more direction. And so that is a way to kind of get unstuck if you're in the middle of a book. And there are other ways to do it too. Uh, you can, you know, do playing. Uh, I know that that seems like a strange idea. Somebody talked about this recently on Reddit. Is it weird to pretend to be my character so I can get an idea of like a fight scene or something like that? No, it's not. It's pretending. It's no different from when you were a little kid and you used to pretend. It's okay to pretend and play so that you can kind of get your story out. Another way to do it, and I do this, and it seems like I'm talking to myself, and so I admit this, I'm sending this out into the world, that I kind of talk to myself. But what I do is I interview my characters. Uh, I treat it like I'm some kind of like talk show host, and I, and I interview my characters, and I ask them about their lives, and I ask them what they're doing, and, and why they've made this choice, and that sometimes helps my me steer my story and really get it going again, and get out of this kind of Trump that I've gotten into where I'm having trouble writing and or and I don't know about you but I'll write a sentence or I'll write a paragraph I'll write a page and then I erase it all because I don't like where it's going I'm like no that was stupid um, and again it's because I'm having trouble getting to where I want it to go and admittedly sometimes I don't know where it's going which is kind of fun and also really frustrating when you get stuck uh, the third thing let's fix my nose the third thing that I talked about was when you just get stuck period and you're having a hard time writing you don't want to come back to it and it's not exciting you and it's not interesting and you just like you dread going to work on your book. Um, there are two approaches. Some people just kind of just power through and make it work, especially if you're under contract or something. You don't really have a choice. You need to work on this book. Authors who, you know, everybody's like, why did you finish writing your book? I think we all know what book I'm talking about. But, you know, we get very frustrated and it's because this writer keeps writing other things. Well, that's the solution that I'm going to give is that go write something else. If you're having trouble and you're stuck and you don't want to work on the book you're working on, the story or whatever, you revised it 10 times, you really don't want to look at it again, my solution is to write something else. Maybe that book needs to go in a drawer for a little bit and it needs to be tucked away and you need to keep thinking about it and pondering it and dreaming about it and then come back to it with fresh eyes later on. And I have been amazed when I do this, okay? So I, the book that I've been working on recently, I had actually put in a drawer for a while and I had written two other stories after it and I pulled it back out and I started reading it and I was like, this isn't bad. But why did I do this? And why did I do this? And why did I do this? These choices don't make sense. And so I completely changed basically the after the chapter three, I think, the rest of the book's different because I made different choices and because I looked it back over and it kind of gave me a different sense of direction. And now that I have a little bit more craft and a bit more experience under my belt, I was able to really go in and and play around with things in a way that I hadn't when I had been writing that book originally. So there's a way to kind of get out of your writer's block. I don't think that it's smart to keep writing something that you are not uh, thrilled about writing. It is a lot of work to write. So writing something that feels like a slog every day, day in and day out, uh, is not good <laughs> for your mental well-being. If you're writing something that is too tragic or too personal or too hard, it is also okay to step away from it for just a little bit. Uh, to kind of get your feet back under you. Uh, I know that sometimes we write about things that are very personal and sad and sometimes really hard to write. Uh, and so I think those books sometimes, they have to be set aside. And I think it's okay to write several, you know, work on several different things at a time. Nobody said that you have to work on one book and work on it all the way through and then finish it and then you can start another one. I think it's okay to have differing, varying stages of a book, you know, something that might get you excited for something else. Do a little bit of research into some other idea that you've been thinking about. Write a short story. Do these writer prompts. There's tons of online websites full of writer prompts. You can have them sent daily to your email. There's also apps where you can have writer's prompts sent. You can do flash fiction. You can do poetry. There's so many different options for creating stories and keeping our minds active 
without, you know, feeling like we have to sit down in front and stare at a piece of paper or at the screen and do nothing. And finally, my last bit of advice, if you're stuck with writer's block and you just can't write, is to read. Uh, it's not a waste of time ever to pull out a good book and read it. Read it to analyze it, read it to enjoy it. Uh, read something you've already read, something that excites you. Read something that's not anything like the thing that you're writing so that you can have something to just enjoy and let go. And within that, you're also learning craft and you're also learning storytelling and you're also learning, hopefully, from some really good authors. Don't forget to press like and subscribe to my channel. I post new writing tips almost every Friday. <laughs> I've been Venus with Galaxy Inc. I hope your writing is out of this world.